What's up, BC? It's your pal Dusty, aka Dom, seeking a thread. I want to get in on this cat's theme uh, because uh, I like cats. <laughs> and uh, I thought it'd be fun to see how many cats I have in my collection. And uh, turns out there are a few. This thread was started by Michael P. Dawson, a channel I'm just discovering and learning. Uh, and watching some videos, so uh, credit goes to him. And I'll leave a link to his original video on this. And I've been watching some of my other VC uh, buddies who've done uh, threads on this, so here I go with mine. But first, Hanu! Okay, so let's get into this cat's thing. So, the very first record I thought of, uh, and it's not a pure cat, but it's a cat, and it's the record we're listening to in the background, you might be able to hear it. Is Peter Green of Fleetwood Max, the end of the game. Not really a fan of Fleetwood Mac much per se, or the early Fleetwood Mac with Peter Green, the guitarist, blues guitarist. But I dig this one. It's basically a jam album, a sort of jazz, rock, instrumental, kind of psych record. Uh, it's from 1971, I believe this is. 1970 on Warner Brothers. Great record. Uh, hell of a cat on the cover there. The second record I thought of, uh, and I believe Mr. Sean, Psychedelic Snow, showed this record, is Pussy Plays. This is a very rare UK uh, progressive rock psych record, progadelic album from, uh, let's the year on this one real quick, 1969, this is a reissue, I think this is a nice fancy pink vinyl on the Morgan Blue Town label. I forget, I didn't look up which label it's on originally, but hell of a cat on that cover. And there's a cat on the back, too. And a good album. Here's some more cats. Here's one. Now, that was the only two I thought of off the top of my head. Uh, everything else I found, and I'm like you out there who've done this, I'm sure the more you look, the more you found. So I actually found quite a bit. Here's my favorite cat. <laughs> uh, everybody loves a fat cat. <laughs> Uh, this is the Cleans Oddities uh, with a hell of a cat. Another awesome cat on the cover there. Uh, this is a. This is more of like an album uh, by the Clean, and it's from recorded from the '80 to '82 recordings that uh, were not on any of their EPs or anything like that. There's a track on here called David Bowie, for whatever reason. Uh, demo of getting older, Fat Domino, it's all sorts of stuff that's just never been released that I guess it's just stuff they were working on. From New Zealand, The Clean. There's a great rock band out of the 90s, uh, The Jesus Lizard. Check them out, check out these cats. Uh, but this is Liar, the name of this album on Touch and Go, of course, from 1990. I think it's five. No, recorded ninety two, so this is early. This is like I think the earliest reissue of this. Some great cats, liar. Recorded by Albini. This is a pretty new record from 2019 by a sort of lo-fi space rock band I like quite a bit. A band that I discovered back in the early two thousands and got big somehow or got sort of discovered by all sorts of other people and their records started getting crazy. They got back together and made a new album. It's Duster. This is a self-titled album with this mean looking cat on the cover. I believe this is also on Pink Vinyl, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it is. Uh, good album. Some great tracks on this. Uh, continues in their tradition. Slightly more mid-fi, I'd say. Duster. There's tons of reggae I could go with. Um, uh, Dave, local bandographer, actually showed a record I was going to show. The Jackie Matu record in London, which I have. Here's another one. This is an amazing, super freaky dub record called Everlasting Dub. It's by Errol Brown and the Revolutionaries. Revolutionaries, the backing band. Um, Errol Brown, the dub master on this one. This is a music on vinyl. This is some colored vinyl. Uh, Dub Everlasting, this is from 75, I think it is. In any case, 
Dove Everlasting. Real freaky. Real baked. Real um, heady Dove record. Two Bs. So good, there's two Bs. And a, a nice cat. Um, I've also John Fahey. Here's a small occurrence of a cat on the Yellow Princess on Vanguard, 1968. You can see that kitty right there. One of, uh, one of the many excellent Fahey records, of course. Fahey getting into sort of tape loops and a little bit of psychedelia on this record on Vanguard. Here's another one of my favorite cats. Um, sort of a logo for this band. Be happening. This is their first album, original on K Records. You can see the kitty flying in a spaceship, simple. It's also on the label. There he is, the cat. Or she, I don't know. Um, they did reissue this album, by the way, with, with all of their singles and things on, so I actually have two versions of this. Big fan of Beat Happening out of Olympia. This, this, uh, yeah, this selection of cat records is heavy on, I guess, indie stuff, which I haven't really shown a ton of, but nonetheless. Um, here's another indie record, sort of an unheralded 80s group out of the Midwest, Great Plains, and this is called Naked at the Buy, Sell, and Trade, and where is the cat? There she blows. And this is from 1985 on Homestead. Ron House, the guitarist and songwriter in this band. This band, check this band out if you are not familiar. This has a nice little insert, yeah. Um, Yola Tango, big fans of these guys. They sort of influenced them a bit, although they were really around at the same time. Uh, out of Columbus, Ohio, is the specific word we're talking about. Uh, great indie rock group, sort of um, punk-ish, Little Dinosaur Jr.-ish. Uh, great band, I got a few records by Great Plains. Here's another major cat record, this is more recent. And uh, shout out to Digital Gramophone, great video on your Wilco-related bands, gotta show Star Wars. I love this album, this album ranks pretty high for me with Wilco actually. Great. Um, not a return to form, uh, just a return to great, just really solid, like less less fussy song, I'd say. Um, this one is, I don't want to call it a punk record, but it, it feels like they they didn't think too hard on this record, let's just say that. I'm just going to blow through these last few sort of rapid fire style and keep this video a little short because I'm going to go do another video after this one. <laughs> Uh, right. Another John Fahey record. Transfiguration Blind Joe Death on the Riverboat label. With that cat. Speaking of the old tango, we got Ride the Tiger. This is their first album from 85, I think this is. Yeah, something like that. On Coyote, out of the New Jersey label. Built the Spill album on Tether Moon. I I think, yeah, this is their, still their most recent album from 2015 with uh, two cats, right? This one kind of looks like a bunny or something, but I think it's a dog, actually, but a nice cat. And this pavement sort of official bootleg, live in Europe, was it 1987? This, this came with, I think, the special edition box set of Bright in the Corners, which I am a huge fan of, huge fan of pavement. That's all the cats I have. And, you know, by the way, I found a lot of dogs <laughs> looking looking for records with cats on the cover. So, Michael, if you want to do a dog thread, I'm with you. I'm ready for it. Um, also, one more thing. I wanted to talk about my radio show real quick. I haven't talked about it too recently. I'm, so, I'm not taking a break, but I'm taking a few weeks off as I'm getting ready to go back into the studio and do shows live in the studio. So I haven't done a show in a couple of weeks. But I'm pushing episode 300. I'm going to do a bunch of special things for that. I have a new logo or a new design I'm going to do a t-shirt of and a special theme. But I will be doing some new shows and some new themes leading up to 300. I'm up to like 293. Uh, check out the radio show if you haven't. Um, 
that I've been doing this for about seven years. It's a big love for me. You know, it's a great reason to play all the records I have. And kind of why I have so many records that some I don't get to listen to as much as so I can pull them for this radio show. And I think, uh, yeah, so check out, the, I'll put a link to my radio show where you can find it. I podcast it everywhere. And I do Mixcloud as well. Um, plenty of places you can listen to it. You can listen to it live to Sunday nights at 7 o'clock. And um, yeah, thinking about trying to live stream again very soon. I will announce that and put a little ad out there when I do. That's it. Thank you, Michael. Enjoy your channel. Thanks for doing this. And um, thanks to everyone else who's done cats. Uh, be well. I'll see you soon.